Preparing to delve in three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Delve. My name is Nathan. And I'm Alex. Alex, you know what it is? It's a it's a new year. It a, sure is. It's 2020. Everything's in hindsight. I thought 2020 meant everything. That's perfect sight, right? Yeah, you, but... You can see... Hindsight oh, is now... Yeah, 2020. 2020. Yeah. So the year of hindsight. That sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Looking at new the decade? mistakes of yeah, new decade uh, mistakes yeah. of 2019, all of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, and the tire fire that was 2019. So now that we've uh, reached the beginning of a new year, it's usually a good time to like look forward and figure out uh, you know what we are actually going to plan on doing for the the entirety of the next 12 months. We we have that all. There's 12 out, right? of them now. According to the Gregorian calendar, yes. That's there are 12, 12 too many. <laughs> That's 12 too many? You were hoping 2021 would be, like, tomorrow? I was hoping Oblivion was tomorrow or something. I don't know. Elder Scrolls Oblivion? <laughs> I, was, I was playing that not too long ago. <laughs> so we don't necessarily know. To be honest, we don't really know exactly what we're doing the entirety of the year. I don't think we know what we're doing any of the year. <laughs> We do have a little bit of an idea of, like, what we're hoping to do in the next few months, though. Because I believe in April, I want to say it's like this April, I think that we will be five years in officially. And I oh, is think, it really? That's yeah. A, uh, that, that's a long time. We'll be starting season six. We're like uh, at 239, 240, something right. like that. Yeah, it, not, it's a lot. It's a it's lot. A, it's yeah. a lot of episodes for two guys who don't know if they even have an audience half the time. Yes. Oh, by the way, if you do listen to the show, we always appreciate feedback. Thank you for that. <laughs> Hopefully we have more listeners than we have episodes. That's my main uh, goal. So, yeah. So for the first few months, though, I wanted to just say, like, uh, you probably noticed that there are a little, there are a few gaps it, between episodes. And usually, like, our live episode, it's a, it's a pretty long one, is usually, like, the first episode of the month. We'll see if that gets a little bit, like, if, it, like, as time goes on, if that can ramp up a little bit. But at least for the first couple months, uh, it's probably going to be, like, every other week you'll see an episode. That's mostly just because, like, as I mentioned in my Christmas special <laughs> that I did, uh, where I was home alone, you don't remember that because you were on a plane. Yeah. Uh, or you were with Santa. I, I was with that. Santa on a plane. You were with Santa. Santa's decided not to use the reindeer anymore. He's using yeah, the he's gone to an F-18 Hornet. <laughs> you know what? You gotta modernize. Um, yeah. But like, as I mentioned in that special, uh, that this was the kind of time of year where I kind of needed to take a step back so I could kind of like get perspective. Like the list, this last year or two, I've been working on a lot of stuff. Yeah, you you've kind of gone a little crazy with all your things. I went. I'd made a lot of stuff, and I don't really know why. I'm just compulsive that way. Uh, so taking a little bit of a breather <laughs> from that, taking a step back, and um, looking at uh, some projects that we've we've kept saying we wanted to do that I would like to explore a little bit more, like some of our, our ranty or newsy episodes. Um, but then also like um, power outage, power surge, whatever. I was all all these things that we've had ideas for uh, over the last yes. couple of years that we meant yeah. to try and do something with and just haven't. Yeah, and I just uh, I think that especially like this time of year, it's good to just kind of like experiment with it. And I was uh, kicking around the idea that if we just kind of like try some stuff while we're not as focused on just putting out regular Delve episodes, um, we can start by putting that up for some of our Patreon folks and see if we get any uh, feedback. And then once we have a few general ideas out there, uh, maybe get a chance to tweak them, possibly in either March or in April, uh, actually start releasing some of those to the public to see what uh, the people at large actually think about it. Um, that's kind of my goal, at least for the first part of the year. Yeah. And, and to be honest, we could, I think there's a way you can keep 
put those up on uh, Patreon for anyone to view as well, yeah? Yes, you can. So we can you even can. do it that way, even if we don't put it out on the website yet. We can mm-hmm. go, hey, it's on our Patreon, you can go check it out right. for free. Uh, so do that, and give us feedback, or become a pat- uh, patron if you like it. I don't know. No, no, that's a, that's definitely something that we can do. We actually did that with uh, More Than Meets the Die. Uh, when the, uh, Dom had those episodes, I actually had that up for anybody to view, but it, it went out on Patreon before anybody in Delve actually heard it. Yeah. So, yeah, we can totally do that. So I'm hoping that you're going to like kind of like the concepts of it. I can't tell you that it's going to be perfect out of the gate. None of them are going to be perfect out of the gate. <laughs> I, can, I can swear. Uh, yeah, Austin Perfection? No, I don't think we do that. No, I don't, we I don't, don't do that finish. around here. We've done this show for nearly, like, 250 episodes, and we, this show is not perfected at all. <laughs> so, new projects out of the gate. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a little bit rough. But I, I think that the, like, the fact that we have kind of, like, general concepts and I have a, a general idea of, like, flow for the episode, like, structure, uh, at least gives me hope. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and I know that, that, Alex, you have a few projects that you'd like to do, but that are definitely a little more involved than the stuff that I keep thinking about. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to think about how to do that. Maybe not immediately, but uh, yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see. On on the front though, when it comes to actually uh, delve, uh, I think that we got mostly feedback this year that said that they actually like episodes where the two of us just specifically talk about game design stuff. I I tend to like those more too. I think that's part of the reason uh, we stepped away from a lot more of the interviews we had been doing. That is true. That and I think we both just kind of felt overwhelmed with the a lot of things. <laughs> Twenty eighteen, that kind of came to a head. Like and most people who have been following the show knows that it is that we got so many requests in that year too for for doing interviews specifically for every new Kickstarter and and crowdfunding project that we were actually like double booking for episodes where I had to like put out two episodes a week just to make sure that we could fit them in in a in a reasonable time frame where their stuff was happening. That was a little bit much. And this last year, too, when we did interviews, a lot of them were ones that we actively went after yeah. to have and people th- on the show. And I think I like that a bit more, because it's like, yes, we don't mind doing interviews, and we enjoy talking to game designers. Obviously, it's actually really fun to do. And we mm-hmm. like to pick their brains, and I don't think a lot of other podcasts do that in the same way. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least... Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Not, I don't, not in honestly, long I don't listen to a lot of podcasts. <laughs> there aren't really that many that do sort of more long form and conversational style interviews where, you know, you you don't necessarily just talk about the project itself. But I know that there are a few that like to do kind of more the hangout style of, of thing, but there aren't tons of them out there. So. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and that's why we have people keep coming back on. <laughs> yeah. And, and I do it. like that. It, it's, but you're right. Like 2018 was just, especially like we did a whole March madness thing. What we had like eight episodes that month. <sighs> yeah. Nine, we had ten. a lot we had of a, episodes. We, had a, we can go back and look, but we had a ton on our end. I don't know mm-hmm. like what our listeners know, what we do and what Nathan does, especially because honestly, Nathan is the powerhouse behind everything. He edits and does all the posting on the mm. site because it's just easier to not have to transfer files back and forth. Yeah. Um, I can just lay it out and everything. And Nathan like, puts a lot of time into this. So especially on, on your end, specifically, Nathan, where if we get a ton of requests like that to put episodes in uh, for the Kickstarters, which obviously we haven't had a problem with, but like when people go, oh, can you do it at this time? specifically so it can be there for the launch of the kickstarter it then becomes a lot of shuffling around where we put episodes that we might have already previously recorded or have coming out to finagle where those times come in where we can do it and if we have requests for episodes in the same span it's like we don't give preferential treatment one of the things there is is we do not uh, get paid by people that come on the show to put out episodes about their show. That's not something we've ever asked for. It's not something we've ever been offered. And I, I think that's great and to one end. 
But on the other end, it's part of the reason that we stepped back from interviews too is because there are a ton of other podcasts that do like game reviews and interviews that yeah. get paid for that as a <laughs> service. And while occasionally I do have ideas in my head that it would be kind of neat to try doing things like reviews or, uh, you know, news segments and stuff like that, I actually had a neat idea of uh, if we if we did, like, reviews of, like, tabletop games and stuff, um, I wanted to do a D20 rating system. <laughs> so so but but i thought that that would be really funny like yeah i give it a i i give it a an eight uh you really need to have like a, a really high modifier in your fun level in order to i mean i mean <laughs> if you're gonna on the saving throw if you're gonna do that i would say you do yeah. a stat array that you could base it on different aspects of oh it. So yeah you, that would so, be neat too so here's its strength here's where the finesse of it comes in here's uh, where it really holds up with constitution Oh, here's yeah, we can have here's like some smart design, here's some yeah. here's some uh, wisdom design, you know, things that make <laughs> sense but you don't even think about. And then this is just overall yeah. how it looks. You know, this is, yeah. this is our stat array. That would be a good rating system. But, yeah, but again, we don't really do yeah. reviews and there are a bunch of other people out there that will do reviews and stuff and, and content that you can pay them for. And, uh, and as much fun as it is to think about that. Uh, people probably, by and large, don't really care if we do reviews of, of stuff. We talk cri critically about enough stuff as it stands. Right. I, I, think. I don't feel we need yeah. to do reviews. And anytime we've no. been asked, we've told people we don't do reviews. A lot of times when people want to be on the show and they might have something specific, I'm like, well, I probably don't have anything specific for that time, so whatever. It's, it's cool. Sometimes, though, you're already up flush. Um, yeah. We... We were pretty much flush when it came to uh, October because we actually asked specific people to come on to talk about stuff that was a little bit spooky. So, so on on that note, uh, listeners, friends, um, let us know. I know we've asked before, and some of you do give feedback, and that's wonderful. But let us know, like, if you do want to hear more interviews uh, and whatnot, or if you do like the talking game design, or if you would like us to have a uh, guest designer on to just talk design as mm. well and not just talk about their specific projects because we enjoy that as yeah. well. I uh, would also like to know if there is somebody specific you would like to see us interview on the show. Uh, I would be interested to see if there's somebody out there that you would actually like to hear interviewed on Delve. If uh, you know of somebody, there are ways you can contact us. <laughs> Plenty <laughs> we, of them. We, we tell you know. at the end of every episode. <laughs> we'll 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 get to it. So stay tuned. Um, but uh, yeah, we would really appreciate that kind of feedback because, like, uh, out of the gate, there are a handful of people that I, you know, am have been hemming and hawing uh, to to get on the show. I don't know why I have such a trouble like contacting people who I'd like to get on the show because every time I do, it pretty much works out. <laughs> like, uh, it's it's that anxiety inducing fear of reaching out to the unknown. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's it's human. Yeah, I mean, once once or twice I contacted people and I just didn't get a response back. But it's very rare. And then yeah. most of the time, when it was somebody who was like, "I don't really think they even know what we do," uh, the response back was not only "Yes, I would like to be on the show," but "Yes, I do know what Delve is." Oh yeah, and at yeah. that point, I was like, uh, "Okay, great." <laughs> Um, okay, let's let's do that. So that's something that we want to do with Delve. We'll we'll do more episodes, and uh, if you have any requests for subject matter that you might want to hear us talk about more in depth, uh, that would also be great. Uh, if you have an idea for guests that you might like to have on, uh, please let us know, and I will try to gird my loins and uh, you know build up the gumption to to contact some folks. The other thing is, too, uh, that I've been kicking around the idea of potentially, instead of doing as many of our regular Delve episodes, uh, do some more of our actual live episodes, which people seem to like a lot. Maybe it's because we don't just talk, like, one specific topic. I don't know. Uh, possibly, although the last few that I did where, like, I actually had a, a specific subject matter to kind of anchor the whole thing, I think... People kind of like that because when they come, when when they start listening, they have at least a general idea of what's going to happen. The, the one I'm talking about that seems to have overall done pretty well was when we did Extreme Makeover D&D &D Edition, where we were talking about revamping certain uh, Dungeons & Dragons uh, mechanics. 
I'm totally up for doing more of them because it's kind of just a nice hangout session where we get to kind of talk shop with with some of our folks and I mean and then on the other side too we can always uh attempt to do gaming stuff cuz I know we've done like golf with your friends before and don't starve before. We can yeah. always try and set that stuff up too if people are interested and would like to join us. Uh there's a potential mm-hmm. that we could do midday stuff as well with people. That's um, true. Yeah. Or at least morning or mid afternoon, depending on my sleep schedule as well. Yeah. If yeah, I know yeah. if I know things happening ahead of time, I can sleep accordingly. That was fun. We haven't done it in a while, but like gaming with uh, with you and, and Dominic or not Dominic, uh, DC, mm-hmm. uh, and then and James and everyone who's joined us for games. It's been really fun because yeah. we can talk about whatever, but then we can also rage at a game, and it's hilarious. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of nice uh, double shot, because if you're watching it, you're actually seeing people play a game, which is definitely more interesting than seeing the Discord channel. Right, um, it's, it's definitely. We need to find something better to look at for that, like a, a babbling brook or something. Um, <laughs> yeah, ideally we have, like, everybody would have webcams and we'd have, like, a nice hangouts kind of layout. So yeah, like if I had a working webcam right now, yeah. you know, I, I had a bird eat the, the wire of my webcam, so. Oh, see, that's gonna hurt the whole system. I don't know if Discord currently has the technology where I could actually just, like, set up all of those webcams, like, and then post it in, like, an OBS format. So, again... It's kind of limitations of what we were working with. Um, but I mean, uh, but people, I wa- people do it. People do mm. do Twitch and whatnot with multiple oh, webcams. Yeah. So we just oh, yeah. we would have to figure. That's something we would need to pick some brains about. Something free. If you have a free software or, or something we can use to do multiple, multiple people on a call, let us know. That's real fun. I was going to tell you that uh, I happened to be on golf with your friends because uh, children invaded my uh, office over the holidays. Sounds and normal. One, yeah, and uh, the one uh, wanted to do YouTube stuff, like, oh, can we make videos and stuff? Like, all right, fine, I'll set up the webcam. Let's play a game. And so I, I turned on Golf With Your Friends, and uh, hey, guess what? There's, like, a bunch of new courses in Golf With Your Friends now. Yeah, you were, you were mentioning There's, that. like, a museum level, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of those things, too. We could, we could always talk more video game stuff, too. It seems, especially for the live episodes, that that's uh, really something people do enjoy. We usually end up talking about video game stuff anyway, but even but especially in the live episodes, like, that is what we discuss by and large. And when it comes to news and information, uh, that comes out far more frequently for the video side rather than the analog it doesn't necessarily mean that we stop talking about design though no uh, i i mean we can still talk about like game design for video games too just not like the coding aspects of it um the difference is that's hard yeah the difference is like saying stuff i see this on one of the discord channels i'm in people make suggestions for this game and i'm sitting there and i look at these suggestions and go Cool, that's a great suggestion, but like, do you understand how much work that would be that goes, to put into yeah. the game? First of all, that that has no visual assets to it already existing in the game, which means they'd have to make all the art and animations for it, Yeah, it's and weird. that is a lot. And yeah. then you have to code for it, which is also a lot. So yeah. it's it's like, okay, cool suggestion. Definitely. Or it's like, that doesn't fit the lore that you're currently in with the game. And they're like, mm-hmm. oh, but it's their game. And I'm like, but it's not their IP. And people don't seem to understand how IP works also. The thing that uh, always shocks me is those those diehard mod communities for games that just, like, spend endless amounts of time in something that they're not getting paid for to make this giant modification to an existing title. Like that crew that was making Fallout Miami, yeah, for Fallout Four, and it's like, I, you you guys are insane, but I love you because yeah, if that ever comes out, I'm playing it. Well, I for those people, do. it's it's like a passion project. I want to say, yeah. just they, it's something they want to do and they put the effort in, but they also can get compensated by people who like enjoy their work. Probably not from Bethesda, but yeah, there are kids. But no, there, there's, theoretically, there are yeah. ways you can donate to or pay yeah. for or give back to those creators, like sharing their content so more people see it. Uh, it's the same as any like homebrew, except you don't pay for homebrew or like DMs. 
guild stuff. But I mean, I'm glad that those people are out there. But uh, yeah, if you'd like to see us play some games, we might just do it anyway because we want to. I could just as easily, like when we do live episodes, just be playing Stardew Valley. <laughs> We're doing yeah. that. Yeah. Um. Hey, there's a multiplayer to that now, uh, Alex. I thought there always was a multiplayer to that. Not originally. It was originally just single player, but they oh. created a multiplayer version of it, which is actually awesome. They made it so that you can do up to four players in a game, and one person actually has the farm, and then they can essentially have three helpers come into their game and work on the farm and go interact with Abigail and, uh, you know, ask her out to dinner and stuff, which is pretty much all you want to do for relationships in the game. She has purple hair, and she likes video games. She's the perfect Yeah, one. okay. Isn't that the one who eats everything? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. No idea. I haven't, I've never actually played Stardew Valley. You've never anyway, played Stardew anyways. Valley? That's got to be one of the things that we do I have, this I have, a, That's when... <laughs> I have a hard time playing games that are uh, pixel graphics. Uh, you know, the thing is, I have a pet peeve about pixel graphics, too. So when I say that it's, like, one of my favorite games, it has to be real exceptional. <laughs> and Star Stardew Valley actually, like, transcends its pixel graphics to be yeah, something I, better it, than it's, that. I'm picky. I'm just picky. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. I think I'm kind of obligated to do a dating sim this year again i just have to figure <laughs> out which one obviously it's the furry one that steam suggested me oh god i think the thing is, is that a lot of those are just uh, are mostly for pc or if they are for mac they they still require some pretty heavy load that i can't do from my computer so what i may have to do is if we figure out what to, what i'm going to do I will just come over to your place that Saturday, and we, we we can play it on webcam, and you can laugh at me in real time. <laughs> yeah, the the furry one, or the one with the pigeons, or the one with uh the colonel from KFC. One is something. Um, ha had a full boyfriend. Oh my God! Yeah, let's do had a full boyfriend. It cannot match nearly as much awesomeness as the last couple, but, you know. Uh, yeah, I think I think your niche for that has to be comedic ones, not the sexual adult ones. No, it, no, it's definitely, it can't, it can't be that. It has to be tongue-in-cheek. Oh, I mean, there, apparently there might be something coming out from Doki Doki this year, so maybe you can play that. Oh, God. I, I don't know. There's we another no sub-auto game? There's okay. something. They, they they said there's something coming. We don't know what it is. It might be DDLC based. It might be some other project. But they they did tweet out something. I think that it's like yeah, there's gonna be something coming in 2020. If you kind of get into the big backstory behind that, it, it's kind of like the start of some kind of almost mythology that they're putting together. That's part, supposed to be part of like the other projects that they were working on. So it's probably in that vein but not necessarily those characters or what was happening there. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah, I guess if, I guess if they come out... Oh, God. I guess if they come out with it, I could play it. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're, you'd have to now. Maybe you have I to kinda, actually try and enjoy it this time. <laughs> yeah, well, I make no promises. <laughs> But yeah, I, I mean, I do apologize that we don't, we're not going to have quite as much content in the next month or two. Yeah, I, I was just tired after December. <laughs> Listeners, if you miss us, you miss our, our content, there's, there's a couple things you can do. You could, like, join us in Discord. We are always happy to chat. No, it's not a very active, it's not super active, but we have a Discord. And if you're there and you want to talk to us, usually we'll reply. Yeah, and we'll, we can, we'll be we can, around. We can strike up a conversation. We'll talk about pretty much anything you want. And uh, and you know what? You just you just let me know. I miss my delve, and uh, that kind of encouragement may be all I actually need to uh, to keep me going. Sometimes you just need people to to tell you, yes, I would like more of the thing that you do, to get you to do more of the thing that you do. <laughs> uh and and a lot of times that's my motivation so hey yeah. feel free yeah um but you know december i had three different christmas specials i made oh yeah I, yeah you did yeah Oof. probably not gonna be doing that uh <laughs> again but uh had had fun making but it was a lot of time in so uh, yeah so i was like yeah. yeah if i could not maybe not put as much time in and uh you know at a certain point, in, at least in my own life, I have to make what's it called, um, money. Ex ex so, oh, yeah, yeah, I still <laughs> thought you were going to say an executive decision. 
oh yeah 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 no i do have to make an executive decision to like step back because i'm making I, i'm doing way too much and it's all over the place but I, at a certain point, I also have to uh, figure out what I'm going to be doing to make uh, what's that thing uh, with that has president's faces on it. Uh, oh, the, that the money, money thing again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to to get a stable source of uh, income. Working out like how I'm going to do that and, and still be able to make. I, I did it before. It's just that then after I kind of like left my regular day job to try and focus on making content, I started doing a lot more projects. And now I'm like, maybe I have to pare that back a bit <laughs> so that I can... I mean, yeah, you, you can't just do projects with no income, Nathan. Well, I I did it for a little while, but I can't I, do I, it forever. I have the opposite problem where I, I have income and no projects because I'm just... I mean, I don't have a lot of income. I mean, let's be real. I've talked to enough people from, like, the last year who were saying how, like, um, they got stretched thin because there were so many things that they wanted to do, and they went and tried to do all of them. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to tool around with some of our ideas and see which ones are viable before I get too far into any of them, <laughs> so that I know what, what works, what doesn't work, what I could probably drop, what I could keep doing. Maybe maybe this year we could actually try and get our YouTube channel to, like, actually work. That would like, be something. Regular, like, regular uh, Dell episodes or whatever, podcast episodes. Find mm -hmm. some, like, decent graphic or visualizer for it. Upload schedule is the thing that we're probably going to have to work out the kinks on, on how often we can put stuff out. I was trying to do certain things at certain times, but realistically, like, more, more recently at least, uh, yeah. I've been doing different kinds of projects for videos and... Um, just trying to get like at least one of them out a month. Yeah. Uh, mostly because I did. I was doing vlogging camp. I was doing the re reviews, and I was doing uh, attempting to play, uh, yeah. which I, I all thought were interesting enough series. But you know, I can't do all of them every week. No, you can't. I I try. Um, but I also uh, found out that it, uh, you know, just trying to flood content because I did that whole level by level series for Borderlands Three. That was a point in time where we actually had like seven videos that went up in a week. Uh, so there, that's a thing that I did. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, strangely enough, not so much traction. So I think that we have a fairly good idea of some of the early goals that we need to. Uh, yeah. Hashtag goals. Hashtag that we have to achieve. life life goals. Twenty twenty goals. Hashtag twenty twenty um, life goals. Yeah, and make a trend. <laughs> It's trending yeah. right now. And that and that's one of those things too, especially with YouTube, is is if we could get enough people following us and enjoying our content and whatnot on YouTube, you know, you can actually monetize that and giving back to us a bit of money would actually help with creating the content more regularly, obviously. Yeah. If I'm sure all of you have... know how that works. Yeah, if you if you well, can get the numbers up there, you can actually monetize it. If you don't get demonetized, and, and I'm not saying we want to do everything for money, but it's it's one of those things. Like I personally, if I could make this a part time job that actually gave me money, I would be able to step back from working as much or change a position to not work overnights because it pays true. me more overnights. Yeah, it it's while we don't want to do things specifically for the money, you also kind of need money to do things. I, I like to call it a vicious cycle. It is. It is a very vicious cycle. We're always just looking for feedback and finding out what, what people like and getting some more engagement in. And uh, we're more than happy to engage with people who uh, want to engage with the with the channel, with the uh, with the show, uh, on Discord, everywhere. And, and I personally am always open to talking design. Like, if you want to talk shop with me, or in general in the channel. Go for it. Seriously. I love that stuff. It's my bread and butter. <laughs> yeah, Alex actually, like, it, it will totally get excited if you, like, tell him about this idea for a game mechanic. I'll tear it apart, too. I mean, let's be real. He'll either tear it apart or he will, or he will run with it, depending I'll on do both. how he feels. He'll probably do I'll both. Do, I'll do a lot of both. I'll, I'll question every decision you made. Uh, yeah. Not because I think it's bad, but because I want to make sure you are aware of how it comes across. Yeah. I want to be clear on those things. Um, mm -hmm. I will offer uh, thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, I've done I've done this for people before. I've I've read their PDFs before they put them out, and then like, yo, here's some feedback. Like, this is how this comes across to me. Like, this is how this reads. 
uh, this is how I think this will work. This this you might want to check that for balance because it seems unbalanced, uh, kind of the or unless that's what you're meaning for. I've I've done this before and it's it's fun. I enjoy it. it's like actually something I clearly like to do. And and in similar fashion, uh, if uh, you want to talk shop with me when it comes to audio and video editing. We just had somebody ask me a question about, like, the general setup and tools and everything, and I wrote a way longer than it probably needed to be <laughs> letter to him, uh, where I explained in, in great detail, like, how the setup goes. Once in a while, I even had this idea of if I, like, put up OBS and put on my thing while I'm editing together an episode and something like that, so you could actually see the process as I'm doing it. That's for, like, audio nerds, though. That would be, like, a really like in the weeds kind you have of to do thing. it yeah you got to do it as like a twitch stream of you just audio and vi- and video editing yeah that was what i was saying it'd be, it'd be meta thinking. it'd be meta <laughs> it, it would definitely be meta but you know it's it might be interesting i don't know one day like when i'm actually doing editing i'll just load up the twitch stream and just do it on there there you and go see if anybody joins yeah, anyone's free to join me at that point I mean, I'm I'm already at the computer doing work, so why not? I might as well. So uh, anyway, that kind of gives you an idea of uh, what we were looking forward to in the new year. And so if uh, anyone would like to find out more information about uh, Delve or all the projects that we do put out, Alex, where could they go? You can find us at DelveCast.com. And uh, while you are there, you can uh, click on our Patreon banner. Uh, chances are, uh, like we were talking about in the episode, anything new that we're working on that's just kind of in the prototype stages will probably be over there first. So it's yes. worth your time to look at, uh, even if you are not specifically a patron. If you do become a patron, though, uh, the buy-in is like a dollar a month, and that gets you all of the locked content. A lot of things like rough drafts and um, early episodes that are the unedited versions. So you can find that stuff over there as well. And thank you to our shiny little patrons, Bonnie Ainsworth and Dominic Perry. And uh, you can find us on the internet. I am at Satanium. I am uh, at EXP Limited when I'm on social media. Uh, right. And our show is at L Podcast on the right. Twitters. On the Twitter. So if you want to contact us uh, on Twitter, uh, Delph Podcast is probably the best way to do it. That's the official one. Uh, or you can contact either of us directly. That that also works. Yes, I have the app on my phone. I'm just not very active on Twitter as of late. And, uh, of course, you can also find us, if you want to just email us, if you still prefer that, um, delphpodcast at gmail.com. You can send us a message over there. We'll, uh, we'll get it, and we'll try to respond in a timely fashion. Uh, thank you to everybody that joined us uh, on our live episode and everybody who came on the show last year. I really do appreciate it, and uh, thank you for sticking with us uh, all this time. And uh, we, we will hopefully have plenty of fun episodes and interesting ones for you this year. Uh, I'm still committed to, you know, producing good content that people like. Uh, yes. I, I'd really like to know if you like it. That's the thing. <laughs> I think that's probably, like, to be honest, the the thing that is most frustrating in general with making content is that I want to make really good content that people enjoy, but if no one tells me they enjoy it, I don't know if I'm doing that. So the feedback is appreciated. <laughs> Until next time, uh, this has been 2020, uh, a forward perspective. I don't know what I'm calling this episode. You'll know when you listen to it, but I don't know right now. Uh, are you excited for 2020, Alex? Uh, yeah, so far it seems to be looking positive. I mean, we're we're only like 15 days in. <laughs> so, I, you know what? Positivity, just keep those positive thoughts. Keep positive thoughts, everything's gonna work out fine, keep, just... Keep on swimming. 2020's gonna be better than 2019, if we just believe. You gotta believe, Parappa. <laughs> God, gotta believe... <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you for joining us, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.